Hello Superherd and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we're going to be going out and checking out some of what Rux has for us. Of course we already made a video a couple days ago showing off what Rux has in store so today we're going to purchase it all just in case I don't have enough time this weekend to show it all off but we are going to be showing off the Red Artichoke Drone brand new special ability for the cactus today. You can see there's some other stuff here. We got the Dirty Bird and the Zombie Classic Taunts with the Perfume Stream which we already showed off. I'll try to link that in the card in the top right and if not at the end of the video it should be linked and then and of course, the fun, funky skunky cheerleader is a legendary hat. This is the first repeat legendary hat in Rux, I'm pretty sure. So I'll be showing that off at some point. I'm too excited to talk. Red Artichoke Drone, our first brand new cactus thing. I mean, it actually beat out the Bling Maiden. Who would have thought? So yeah, I'm very excited to check this out. If we go to our abilities now, I mean, actually, no, I'm totally wrong because we had the Pizzazzling Potato Mine. Totally forgot about that. That was actually the first ever Pizzazzled item. Okay then, uh, we got the red artichoke. This agile artichoke shouldn't be messed with. It's fast as a clam and quick as a cucumber. Very, very cool. So we're gonna check that out. We're just gonna have a good time with whatever cactus we want to play with it. Um, Probably gonna be playing mostly uh, frozen cactus today because that's who I need to level up. But yeah, let's uh, first off try it out here at the backyard because I really don't know what's gonna be different about it. First off, it does have a decently quick shot. And ooh, that actually the... Uh, the corn here charges up pretty fast. Whoa, I like that. So it doesn't seem like the corn charges up as much as quickly as, of course, the um, the artichoke, or what, what, what is the, the green one called? You know, the green one. But it does do a little bit faster than the normal drone. So it's sort of like a good in the middle, which I like. It's actually, it feels pretty good so far. So we're gonna cancel out of this and we're gonna go ahead and try it out on some actual online mode. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, we're super close to leveling up the uh, frozen cactus, so instead of the artichoke drone, I mean, I guess, of course, it's supposed to be similar to the artichoke drone because it's just the red artichoke drone, but it's a little bit different. It's like a little twist on it, which I can appreciate. I mean, it would be cool to have something entirely different, but at the same time, it's still cool to see. Now, I would like to see a new parrot for the cat, the dead beard, but maybe that's something to focus on later in the video, just because then it would have a cool baron balance because we only have one parrot for the dead beard and now three drones for the cactus. By the way, I wanna say while we get into today's episode, of course, if you've gotten the red artichoke drone, let me know your thoughts on it, maybe some cool stuff you've been doing with it, and overall, your thoughts on Rux so far. I mean, I think it's a—it's definitely the best Rux we've had in a while. It's definitely a promising sight, and I really hope that you know Rux can more often be this way. But let's go ahead. This thing looks so cool, though. I think visually, it's the coolest looking drone so far. Um, and we're gonna get this out right there, cause, oh, well, he's dead. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Of course, he's a zombie. He was always dead. He's just more dead than he was previously. Of course, I'm very bad at aiming drones. Okay, but I got him. And of course, this is Vanquish confirmed. I just felt like playing that, and, you know, it worked out pretty well. Ooh, ah! Oh, okay, I did get that uh, soldier a little bit, so we're doing okay with this so far. Let me forget that orb. And my favorite thing about drones in this game mode, you can just fly in and snag a bunch of orbs even in front of your own teammates. The only problem is I don't know where my my cactus body is. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, oh, hello. Who's the Okay, it's a mech. Well, I, I, st I stood no chance, so perfect timing, I guess. Um, okay, so far, not the worst, though. I do like the drone. It's actually pretty cool. I like its balance between, it just, it definitely feels like the perfect in the middle between the normal drone and the artichoke drone, and I feel like they needed that because there was a pretty big gap between the two. Oh, gosh. I'm not a big drone user in general. Usually I even forget about using the drone most of the time when I play Cactus. So this isn't the biggest ability release ever for me, so I'm not expecting to find a ton to go on about about it, but it's still, it's just, to me, really, the big thing is that it's so refreshing to see a new ability again. And I'm, I'm sure a lot of you agree, you've been letting me know all about it, is that, you know, we've gone so long, you know, of course we had the Mood Shield, but the Mood Shield was a bit of a specific situation um, that we had to pay real money. This is our first time Ruck selling a new ability in months. You know, we, yeah, for months now. So it's really nice to see it again. And we'll talk about it more in the next round. I am definitely gonna reach level 10 this round. I'm not letting it not happen. I've been getting used to a uh, frozen cactus. I haven't been playing her too much, but she has been like the main cactus I go to because I've been trying to master her. I'm making slowly but surely progress with mastering on the cacti. I've got a couple down now. I got the base cactus, fire cactus, and zen cactus for sure. And maybe a couple others as well. Can't exactly remember. But we're just gonna throw out damage wherever we can. These guys seem like they're pretty good at sniping. The only problem is we don't have much health at all. Only five health with this drone, but we are laying the damage down pretty well. And another thing is that we do stick out pretty well, especially in a map like this. 
The artichoke drone would match in pretty well with the green. The normal drone would match in pretty well with the whitish walls. The red artichoke drone definitely sticks out pretty badly. So I can see why we might have a hard time using the drone in this map, but of course it changes per map. You know, that's the thing about environmental cues. Okay, let's damage you up as much as I can. That was pretty good, good start, but uh, I'm messing up. My joystick is giving up on life. Hold on joystick, please don't. Ah, <laughs> I got close to two vanquishes there. I got neither. So you know what, close isn't good enough, now is it? Do we have, we have the same size teams. I haven't seen too many of my own teammates. Oh, there they are, hi teammates. Um, oh, I see. Why well, I'm not finding is they're just hanging out. <laughs> All right, uh, who should we go for first? I guess nobody! I just spawned, give me a break, give me a break, come on. Oh my gosh. I mean, luckily, you know, I can use the artichoke drone from a distance and there's people with microphones on, I'm sorry, I, th I thought I turned them off, but no, there's always at least one person who doesn't get muted, for whatever reason. Oh, let's get you, come on, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, I know he's loud, got him, okay, that's a decent vanquish right there, we're halfway through level nine. Excuse me, Chomper, you're in the way, you're in the way. I mean, he did get a good goop there. Now, this guy doesn't quite see me, or does he? Uh, he does see me, but it doesn't matter. But it does actually bring up the conversation, why hasn't the Bling Maiden shown up yet? I mean, I'm sure it will at some point. If you do not know, the Dark Bean and the Bling Maiden were like a vote between the two. You know, obviously when we got the Dark Bean Bomb, we could have gotten the Bling Maiden at that point. But of course, most people wanted a new ability, so that's what we ended up getting. So, it's been like what? That was back in, it wasn't April, was it? It was like April, maybe even May. That that happened in March, maybe? Definitely the first couple months of 2017. So it's been like six months that we of course have the confirmation that the Bling Maiden exists with no evidence that it's gonna come anytime soon. I mean, I think, honestly, my prediction for the next Bling item is probably going to be the Bling Armored Heal Station for the scientists because that got a change in the most recent patch when the ability isn't even available yet. So it has to be coming soon, right? I would, I would be very surprised to believe that, uh, they made an ability and changed it before they even released it. And if so, then why even bother putting it in the change log? That wouldn't make any sense, right? So they must be, you know, planning on getting it out very, very soon. And maybe the original plan was to get it out even before that, you know, the changes were released and just something went wrong. Because once again, it was a very surprise Rux. Nobody really knew if the Rux was coming or not. Um, because originally when the month started back in September when they first really see an event calendar, it said that Rux was gonna come up, you know, a second time in September, but it disappeared and then the week came that he was supposed to show up that he originally showed up on the event calendar before it got removed and he didn't show up and then this week, the week after that, he shows up. So it really was just a surprise Rux that they plopped in there and never updated the event calendar. I don't even know if the event calendar is updated right now. Uh, if you go on, will you even see it? But there's also a boss hunt going on right now, I think. Um, I think it's just the Yeti. Honestly, I have all the Yeti items. Oddly enough, they're not doing Spooky Squash for October. They are doing Brothers Nomas, which is just like, why? I understand that they just did Spooky Squash, but why did they do it that way then? I guess because of the rotation, but it's just like, even if it's out of order, I'd rather have Spooky Squash for Halloween because that's like the whole fun of it. I don't know, I'm really bummed out by that, but hey. I guess beggars can't be choosers. I mean, I obviously at this point I expect a boss hunt at the end of every month, so I'm not even exactly begging for it. Uh, let's get you if I can. Oh, all right. Oh, we tried. Did this drone? I, I definitely give it my uh my hooves up of approval because I don't have thumbs. It, it's pretty good. I mean, as long as you're decent at landing the corns, I am not. But I was never good at landing the corns with the other ones either. I know this guy's low because I saw him on fire a moment ago and I've been shooting at him like crazy. This guy's just not paying attention. He picked up the orb though, so, you know what, does he really? I just blew myself up with my own corn. That happens way too often. Okay, this round's about to end. I need to get level 10. I've been putting down so many potato mines and they're not helping. I mean, it would be cool to actually uh, get the bling mating, because then we can have all Rux specific abilities, and that would be really cool. At, in our loadout, we would have the pizzazzled potato mine, or bedazzled, pizzazzled, something like that. Um, potato mine, we would have the red artichoke drone and then the bling made it. And that would just be a fun little combo of uh, custom Rux abilities. And that'd be the first character to have a full loadout of custom Rux abilities, I think. Okay, I didn't reach level 10, so I guess uh, another round is required, but hopefully not much more than that. We did win again. That's good, because we had a really rough start, so I'm glad to see that we were able to pull out the win there. Okay, I yeah, definitely reached level 10 this time. Never have heard that before. 
Not a statement that's come out of my mouth previously in this episode. Or has it? Oh, oh, get you, get you. Oh, oh, don't, don't you dare, thank you. Thank you for not doing it. Well, I mean, you tried. You definitely, definitely gave it your best shot. Where are you going? You trying to do a loop around? Cause I will loop around too. And miss every shot. Ah, yeah, there we go, we got it. Okay, who should we play next? We should probably just move down the list. Don't revive me, don't revive me, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you start reviving my choice, but we'll move on to the power cactus, go to abilities, and right out of choke joint. We'll also do a pizzazzling potato mine. Uh, sure. <laughs> that was pretty darn good. But yeah, I mean, I really don't have too much more left to say about the Red Artichoke drone. It's really what it is, you know? It's just that in the middle between the two different types of drones that we already had, and it's fun to use. It's pretty cool looking. It's definitely the coolest looking drone, and it's all right. I hope that this trend continues. Like, honestly, this is what I'd like to see. I really don't mind that Rux is starting to finally uh, do some repeats. I was worried that he would never repeat an item or legendary hat ever. Of course, we've gotten two repeats so far. Last Drux, we got a repeat of the Arcane Lotus Rose ability, and why that was is because it got a buff. Then, this time, we got a repeat of the of the Funky Skunky Cheerleader Legendary Hat for the All-Star, which is a legendary hat I actually missed out on, so I'm really glad I had the opportunity to get it this time. So, I actually like the repeats. This is the thing with me. If, as long as his Rux is showing up twice a month like he is, I don't mind there being a repeat one or two of those times, right? Like maybe the first time he shows up, there's a repeat ability. The second time he shows up, there's a legendary, a repeat legendary hat. As long as the first time there's a new legendary hat and the second time there's a new ability, then I think it's a good mix. As long as we don't go through these horrible dry spots, because I don't like that. I don't like the idea of going through two or three months of just nothing, and then a month full of awesome stuff. I feel like that's just not really, the best way to enjoy it. I think the best way to enjoy it would be to play Garden Warfare better, unlike me. But also, the best way to enjoy it is if we had an even amount of constant stuff flowing in, so that once a month we're always getting at least one new ability, at least one new legendary hand. That would be the best way to do it, in my opinion, in my humble zebra opinion. I think that would be the a way for me personally to stay constantly committed and interested in the game, but it's just like, oh, okay, we're going on month number three without any ruck stuff. It just it gets a little draining, you know? It gets harder to you know stay motivated to keep playing the game and to keep earning up those coins because you just know there's not gonna be anything for Rux this time around, you know? All right, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Oh boy, get you, get you, move Chomper. I was about to finish him off and then the Chomper, big old Chomper face got in the way, but we got the shared Vanquish, so I don't care. Okay, scoot on over here and try to get you. That was good, I like that one. Okay, Parrot, get out of here. Okay, so there are zombies in some locations, but I think I need to distract them with a good old artichoke drone. Look at this, if I could get a corn right here, that's gonna be good, that's gonna be good. Ooh, nice, some decent damage going out, but not any kind of vanquish. Oh boy. But still, that shared damage is gonna help lead to hopefully some shared vanquishes. Uh, I can't quite hit you. I can't see what I'm you know, being blocked by, but I can get that splash damage, which really us. We're doing really good this round. I wonder if I can get top vanquisher, because if I can, um, that would actually be good because I have a quest for that right now. Oh, oh, I almost got you out of the air a little bit. This splash damage is really helping me out right now because these guys just like, they're not attacking me for some reason. Like one of them is probably in the act of sneaking behind me right now, but this chomper's got my back. Chomper pal, best kind of pal a plant could ever have. Okay, stop, stop it. Oh geez, oh geez, yeah, they're, they're mad at me. They're all mad at me. Get rid of this guy, come on, I know he's low. I got a couple headshots on him already. Oh, hi, Mac. <laughs> Holy cow, why haven't they gotten me yet? There you go, <laughs> they had no excuse. That should have happened so much sooner. I mean, I don't mind, I got like a six, seven Vanquish streak out of that. Okay, so I wanna actually, I know I could you know, charge in, probably get some stuff done, but I wanna hold back because our drone is just about to become available, it is. So I'm gonna pull that bad boy out and we're gonna get more stuff done with it. I definitely got you know, more drone action this episode than I do my average episode with a cacti. So. That's good to know. And for good reason. Oh geez, so if I could choose like which character gets a new ability next, I'm trying to think. Which character hasn't gotten an ability from Rux yet? Um, Captain Deadbeard has not. Super Brains has, Imp has. He got, I mean, he got a bling mech. Okay, let's, let's exclude bling items. Let's just say a completely brand new ability. So, Captain Deadbeard has not gotten any ability whatsoever, I don't think. But he's definitely not gotten a new ability. Super Brains has gotten the uh, the guided Ultra Bond. The Imp has not got it a, gotten a brand new ability. The Soldier has it. The Engineer has only gotten a bling. 
Um, the scientist has not either, but hopefully he gets his first bling item soon. And then finally, the all-star. He got a new ability. He had, oh yeah, he got his uh, special little all-star thingamajig, you know, the uh, little dummy, the explodable dummy. That was a cool one. So yeah, I guess not too many zombie abilities, Aaron. But the plant side, I feel like, has gotten way more new abilities. Of course, Cactus right now with this. We got this Citron's Mood Shield. We got Owl Pain. <laughs> we got the Citron's Mood Shield, that's two already, which I think like almost matches the zombie. The Dark Bean Bomb. Um, the Rainbow Heal Flower, I mean, it does do something different than the other Heal Flower, so while it sort of feels like a bling item, it's not actually a bling item. It's actually like its own unique ability. Oh, what, get you? No, couldn't quite get you, that's okay. <laughs> Um, Chompern, has he had any Rux abilities? Yes, he had the uh, Vamp Wing. So yeah, plants have definitely gotten way more love when it comes to custom abilities, excluding bling abilities. So I would like to see that James, I'd like to see some more new zombie abilities. I think that would definitely spruce some things up in a very, very good way. Maybe we can brainstorm some cool things zombies could get in the next uh, round. But for now, we did not win that one. That was our first loss of the day. All right, let's definitely get this last round in for sure. Maybe a little bit more of this, depending on how we're feeling about that. But yeah, expect videos soon on the new legendary hat. Or I guess it's not new, it's new for me, so I definitely wanna show it off. We've been showing off most of the legendary hats I have. I always have a lot of fun with that, so that's why I like doing that. I've been doing a decent job mastering my all-stars. I'm sure I'll get into that once we uh, show off that legendary hat. I don't know if I'll be able to have time to do that this weekend, but hopefully sometime soon I can go ahead and record that. I mean, the other stuff, uh, once again, I already showed off the legendary plant pot that I got, and that's sort of something I haven't seen anybody talk about. But from other YouTubers I've watched and from what you guys have said in the comment section, it seems like if, you know, either you get zombie bots only or plant bot, pl pots only. I've only gotten plant pots and then some other people have only gotten zombie bots. They've gotten repeat zombie bots and repeat plant pots, you know? So I'm wondering, you know, if you've gotten, let me know if you've gotten both a plant pot and a legendary zombie bot, because I haven't heard that actually happening yet. I've only heard of people getting one or the other and I don't know why that would be, but, I could see that being the case. Like, I mean, I don't know why. Like I, like, I don't want it to be the case. I don't know, just Guarded Warfare can be really weird like that, and it just sort of seems like the right amount of weirdness that that would happen in this game. Sunflowers, though, helping me out like champs. I love it. All right, where are these zombies at? There has to be zombies sneaking up soon. We are, like, one huge unit. I love it. It's mostly sunflowers, but sometimes that's exactly what we need in life. Okay, let's start beating up on you a little bit if I can. Now, if this guy really starts getting sick of me, he should be able to take me out really easy. Yep, okay, oh no, that's not what happened. Another imp got me. Okay, I was hoping at least like one plant would stick by, but okay. Well, they did, okay. <laughs> Just not soon enough. At least they tried, you know. My heart is warmed by the, the trying, the, the caring in trying. Oh, okay, that the bling, okay, that did it, that did it. <laughs> I'm out of here, wait, get that, thank you. Oh jeez, oh wait, there's another one. Okay, this is bad news, bad news. I wasn't prepared for you. Um, it looks like you're not prepared for me, but you still got that. Okay, it's a tie. <laughs> Just hope that there's a plant. Oh, I think that's a plant shot. Uh, that looked like a, a petrified cactus. I don't know. Uh, where's this? Okay, that was decent. Got a nice little shot in there. The Citron doesn't even realize there's an engineer behind him. Oh jeez, come on, come on. Luckily, we're staying together relatively as a team pretty well. I mean, of course, my job as a cactus is to stay back a little bit. Hi, hello, sir. I said we're sticking together as a team, not as enemies. Because it's very easy to backstab me when you're an enemy. That's sort of the, the point. And these orb safety, they're not. We talked about this so many times. And he never stops asking. They don't taste good either. All right, let's get you if I can. Get my revenge on at least one scientist. I was a chemist, so good to do that. It feels like there's there's definitely a whole lot more plants than there are zombies, right? Yep, we're outnumbering them by three, which can really change the tide of battle, especially when the score is 28 to six. So we've won two, lost one rounds today. I think we're about to go on three and one. So that'd be pretty cool. Get this, get that, that's a good vanquish. Now you, I don't think I'm gonna do as well with. Okay, I got you, not, not bad, not bad. I wanna back up and get a drone out, but I just don't think the drone's gonna work too well on this map. It's just such a, a pretty close together Situation. You're just standing and staring, and I still couldn't vanquish you because I was too busy reloading. Guys, come on, there's an engineer with like two health over there. Okay, oh hi, the chemist every time. He's really good at sneaking up on me. I guess that's sort of his job though. Okay, maybe I could back up. We could start sniping some dudes. I don't see too many dudes to snipe, so I wanna set up right here. 
pull out this drone and hopefully not get destroyed. But I probably will. Okay, there's an imp here. He doesn't quite see me just yet. The problem, another problem with this map is that there's a lot of like overhead. And whenever there is, thanks Chomper, uh, that means that we're not gonna be able to land our corn. And the corn's a big part of this. Uh, this drone setup is at, you know, landing that corn. So this map, I feel like in general, is not very good for drones, but especially the red artichoke drone or the artichoke drone. All right, let's try to get this guy now. Hold on, hold on. Uh, boom! Okay, I did land it. I landed a couple of them. I definitely want to get my revenge on that guy. Jeez, there's plus marks everywhere. So much reviving to be done. Get to work, Sunflower! <laughs> oh my gosh, insane. Insane round so far. Totally ridiculous stuff happening. Come on, get you a little bit. Get you a little bit. I know he's really trying to get me here, but he could not. Sorry, man, better luck next time. The Hover Goat, I've been playing more with the Hover Goat in PvZ Heroes than I have in God of Warfare 2. He's been a big aid in my really awesome pet focused deck I have for the Smash in PvZ Heroes. I think I'm gonna make a video about that soon because uh, season four now? Yeah, I think we're in season four. Is almost over and for the first time ever I hit Taco League. So I wanted to make a video talking about my journey to Taco League and how it's been, what I've been doing. <laughs> Spoilers, it's mostly just that Smash deck, but hey, it's been fun and I wanna talk about it. So yeah, that's probably coming up. I've been, like, PBZ Heroes videos have been in my to-dos for a little while, but definitely there's gonna be more coming soon with season five coming up. It's coming up in just a couple days. Um, whenever this ne this most recent event card ends, I think we have the, uh, the ketchup plant, whatever it is. The ketchup mechanic, that's what it is. Oh cool, we won, okay, there we go. So we are 3-1 so far with victories today. But yeah, more PvZ Heroes videos coming soon and more Garden Warfare 2. So lots of awesome stuff on the way. But yeah, I think that'll be it for showing off the Red Artichoke Drone. We did pretty well and it was a good time. So there's our look at the Red Artichoke Drone. Very, very cool. Like I said throughout today's video, if you have the Red Artichoke Drone, let me know your thoughts on how you are enjoying it. Do you enjoy the purchase or are you regretting it? I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. So I'm pretty sure that if you wanted a Cactus Drone, you would uh, know whether you're going to like it or not. But hopefully maybe this gave you some insight on the drone and if you were deciding to buy it or you are on the fence, hopefully this helped you make your decision. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Artichoke Zebra so now you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.